Penelope toasted. So I'm going to do this one again. This was one of the first ones I ever did now that I've developed a better palette and have done this quite a bit. I want to go back in because this is a fresh bottle and um, just want to see if there's any difference. I have no idea. Remember what I scored this one. I think it was pretty high. Um, and again, I think this is, if not one of the best, best looking bottles out there. I put stock in that for whatever reason, but just beautiful, beautiful bottle. Um, let's get into this. And by the way, uh, I've had a few comments come through of people complaining that I'm too long winded. I get that. I know that I am. Um, but the thing is I made the decision very early on that, um, I was going to keep this as honest as I could. And so the only way I think I know how to do that is to do one take and kind of in real time, just explain how it's going. So I made that decision. I get it's not for everybody. Uh, but to me, it's kind of the most honest way to do it. I don't think if you're, um, chopping up a bunch of different videos into like a little 30 second, 60 second clip, it really is a good representation of what I'm doing. So that's just my decision. Sorry if you don't like it. Still love you guys. Fresh pop, maybe. Good Lord, this one's in there. There we go. Okay, let's see what we've got here. This color is, look at that. Beautiful, freaking work of art. Switch it around a little bit. And by the way, this is, um, uh, 112 proof for your age, batch 2202, um, and heavy toast. All right, let's nose it. Oh, yeah, that nose is a work of art, too. Cherry, like a Definitely can smell the toast, like toasted oak, vanilla caramel, a lot going on there. Cheers, guys. About as good as I remembered. Damn, that's really good. All right, go back in, let that settle. Oh yeah. You know, this one is gonna have to get a, let my son do it. Yeah. Cute little dude, isn't he? This is for sure, yep. Man, so good. Cherry, that cherry flavor comes through. I don't know if I if I remembered that from the first time around, but dessertish, like your vanilla, kind of like a toasted caramel vanilla situation going on. Can definitely tell it's a little bit of a higher proof on the back end, just for a minute. And then it kind of slides away to that really sweet, uh, lingering finish that I love. Coats the tongue very well. This is just so damn good. Man, but that cherry kind of lingers, but the the back end's a little spicy, a little uh, peppercorny, kind of almost like a rye spice to it as well. But this is just dessert in a glass, guys. Like it's, it, this is what I want, a nightcap. Just like a dessert, maybe smoke a cigar with it. Bomb, so good. Again, beautiful, beautiful bottle. Don't remember what I scored it the first time around. I think it was high up there. Um, this, I think, is just one of my favorite bottles that's out there. It's so good. 92 out of 100. <laughs> I think um, might be the same or if not higher than the last time. If you haven't had this, um, I think in some areas, good luck finding it, but for the most part, you can find this pretty much anywhere. This bottle, by the way, cost me $65 this time around. So a little on the higher side, but worth every single penny. Monster, monster score, 92 out of 100. Is that what I said? 92 out of 100. Penelope Toasted, that's a bourbon review.